This video is for those of you who are looking for a circuit that once you push a button, a certain amount of time will elapse and then a brief pulse will be sent to either a relay or another circuit. So it's a time delay circuit with a pulse. Now the circuit is a 555. In this case it's just a regular 555. The entire circuit draws around 6 milliamps using 12 volts on standby. If you replace the regular 555 with a CMOS 555, you can get that standby current down way lower than 6 milliamps. The circuit does not get much easier than you see here. I made a bunch of modifications from the original. Now I tried the circuit with 5 volts, 6 volts, 9 volts, and 12 volts using the proper relays for each voltage, and the circuit worked perfectly each time with each voltage. So if you want to use the circuit between 5 and 12 volts using a regular 555 timer, you should have no problems at all. If you would like to use it for 3 volts, then I would suggest you switch to the CMOS 555 timer. Now the circuit gets triggered when you push this momentary switch right here. It's a normally open. When you push it in, pin 2 goes to ground. Once that goes to ground, the countdown begins. Once the duration has passed, a pulse will be delivered to this transistor to allow power to flow momentarily. Now the way this one works here, once this PNP turns on, when this becomes negative, what will happen, power will flow and it will be held back at this point by the 1K and then you could have power going out from that point between the collector and the resistor to trigger another circuit. If you choose not to have this set up, you can go with this one right here, which is basically just your relay with a back EMF diode connected to the collector of the transistor going to ground. Now this part of the circuit right here, which is RT and CT, this capacitor and this resistor, is used to determine how long of a delay you will have once you push the button and have to wait before the pulse is activated. Now the easiest way to increase the delay would be to make this capacitor right here, CT, a higher value. So you would increase the value of this capacitor and that would give you a longer delay before the pulse. Now if you look at pin 3 right here, this capacitor is a nonpolar capacitor. I did not have a 5 microfarad. All I did was take two 10 microfarad electrolytic capacitors. I placed them in series with both of the positives soldered together and then you have the negatives out on each side. Now you have a 5 microfarad nonpolar capacitor. This values a 1 meg resistor, 100K. You have your 103 capacitor or a 10 nanofarad. 10NF. You have a 1N4148. You could use a 1N914 for this diode right here. Now, if you're looking for a longer pulse duration, now mine is only going to pulse for one second. You may want several seconds. You would have to increase the value of this capacitor and also adjust the value of this resistor right here. I like to just play with the capacitor values. It's a lot easier. So if you want to make the duration longer of the pulse, adjust this higher. And if you want to make the delay duration longer, you would adjust CT to a higher microfarad rating. Now you can also increase the duration of the pulse by putting a higher value resistor right here. I actually used a 15K. You can go to 20, 27, 36. And as you increase that, so it's going to keep that pulse a little longer. So play around with this value for a longer pulse and play around with this value here at the capacitor. What I'm going to do now is briefly demonstrate how well this works. I have right around right around 12 volts, 1198.99. The meter is set on a continuity alarm setting. 
and there is the circuit right now on standby it is only drawing six milliamps like I said earlier you can get that down to probably one milliamp or less by using a CMOS 555 timer what I'm going to do now is I'm going to push this down and in 15 seconds you're going to hear the pulse being sent to my digital meter on the continuity alarm setting there it is works perfectly the only thing when you first connect the power to the circuit you will get an initial pulse after that there's no false triggering it, it only triggers after you push that button and you wait the 15 seconds in my case it's 15 because of the values I used here and you'll get that pulse now if you want to have reliable triggering every time you push this button it is a very good idea to make sure power is always applied to the circuit if you're concerned about the current draw just switch to the CMOS 555 timer and the current draw on standby will no longer be an issue I hope you enjoyed this video please rate it a thumbs up subscribe and post links to this video on other websites and blogs also be sure to check out my video playlists as well